life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by Doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am born? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong ready for the day because today we are having one of our favorite days ever i'm gonna start the day with a big old b&m trip i can't wait i'm just craving a b&m brows i just there's just something about it that makes me feel nostalgic makes me feel cozy um and i've been seeing everywhere on tiktok and instagram that they've got some really nice new bits i know the last few times i've been it's been in that weird kind of like that weird B&M time where there's like the old Christmas sale stuff and there's just not really anything new but I've seen all over the internet that there's lots of new bits so I've kind of got a bit of FOMO you know when you see people with like really good B&M stuff and it's like a treasure hunt going to find it that's going to be me today so yeah we're going to head over to B&M then I'd like to pop to M&S because love M&S. It is one of my favourite places on earth. It makes me feel cosy. The food is just so yummy. Um, and my friend Megan is actually coming over this week. So I'd, I want to pick up a few bits to make a little M&S grazing board. Um, and I also want to get the ingredients for some lemon drizzle cookies that we're going to be baking this afternoon. I was thinking of like some spring inspired bakes we could make and I thought lemon is, it's the fruit of the season. So we're gonna make lemon drizzle cookies and then this evening make something I have been fancying for ages. I'm gonna make fajita chicken nachos. I made these last week but without the fajita chicken because we didn't have any chicken and they were delicious and I just thought these would be oh, so nice with fajita chicken. Say fajita chicken again Gemma. A very cozy day ahead of us and I'm really looking forward to spending it with you guys. So I've half done my makeup and I'm about to try a new product which I'm really excited about um, and I thought we could try it together. I saw this on Sid's story at the weekend. A lot of you guys follow Sid, Sidney May Crouch and Sid is one of those people to me that whenever she raves or recommends a makeup product. I just need it in my life. I did recommended the Rare Beauty bronzing stick and I had to buy it. it. It fell into my basket and it arrived yesterday and I'm really excited to try it. Cream bronzer to me has always been one of those things where I've never ever really like loved a product other than my Refi cream bronzer. So I thought it's going to take a lot to top this but then Sid said it's amazing. If Sid said it's amazing, it's amazing. Um, but they didn't have any Happy Soul shade left so I had to get Always Sunny which she looks a bit dark but i think we can make it work so yeah i'm excited i'm so excited to see what it looks like what should we blend it with i think i'm just going to use like a the brush that i used to put my foundation on it i'm going to put just a little bit on to start with oh actually it doesn't look too dark does it have i even put that in the right place i always have to like feel for where my cheekbone <laughs> ends Let's blend it. Ooh! Oh my goodness, it blends so nicely. That's actually such a nice colour. That blended so easily. Do you know what? It almost feels like a bit... It feels like a bit of a powder. Like, it doesn't feel like cream bronzer. You know, cream bronzer is usually quite, like... It's quite tacky, isn't it? It's like... 
powder. <gasps> I think I might love this more than my Refi one. I knew I could count on Sid. Let's try some here. Was that a bit much? <laughs> Maybe a little bit much. I really, really like it. It just blends so nicely. Like it almost like melts into your skin. Just finished doing my makeup. I just put the bronzer on and then a tiny little bit of powder and my setting spray. I love this. It's so nice. It's very, very natural. Like I know I was a bit worried about the shade being a little bit too dark, but it blends so beautifully and it doesn't look like muddy. I always get scared that cream bronzer is going to look all muddy. But it's just so lovely, like such a lovely product. It's so, like when you apply it, you, all you need to do is like sweep your brush and it just blends like a powder. It's one of my new favourite makeup products and I feel like I always use the same makeup products. I always find it quite hard to have a new favourite. But yeah, I love it. For my hair today, we're going to do something very quick and easy. Um, we're going to do a mum bun, a slick back mum bun and i'm going to show you my favorite things to use to achieve this hairstyle um it's best to do this when your hair's a little bit dirty so if you're due hair wash day and you just don't want to do it yet this hairstyle is brilliant this is pretty much my everyday hairstyle just because i feel like it looks really neat and clean and you feel quite put together but it's also like super convenient with a little baby like noah's forever like grabbing things i can't have my hair down with him at the moment just because it's just not convenient so first slick back bun essential is a good brush you need something like bristly that's going to really smooth your hair and pull it back into your bun so i use this one from from Foxy Locks. And you're also going to need lots of oil. I use the Luxury Hair Oil from Foxy Locks. As you guys know, this is one of my favourite products on planet Earth. And one of my favourite ways to use the Foxy Locks Hair Oil is in a slick back bun. Because it gives your hair that really slick, clean look, but it's also really amazing for your hair. So it's basically like a little bit of a hair treatment all day. So I'll probably take maybe four of these full. And my hair will look like really greasy and quite wet once I'm finished. But I like to see this as something I do before hair wash day. If you're planning to have your hair in a slick bun for the next few days, you can keep this in. The longer the better. And when you wash your hair, oh my goodness, it feels like you've got new hair because you've had oil in it. So I just run this all through, even on the root, because we want the root to look like really slick. Also do the same thing for, if you don't fancy having a slick back bun, you can do this with a slick back ponytail. And then you could even add, like if you want like a really big ponytail, I sometimes add a few of my Foxy Locks clip-in hair extensions. I use the shade Ice Latte, which is like a lovely icy blonde. Um, I'll add like a few of the two clip ones to the back of my head and it just makes my ponytail like really thick. Next step is I'm just going to make a parting. I'm going to start brushing my hair into a pony with my paddle brush. So as you can see, the brush just makes it so smooth. And I'm going to try and keep the parting. So I'll probably keep the parting to about here, just so I've got one at the front. And then the rest can be like nice and smooth. I'm going to take a nice stretchy hairband and do a really tight ponytail and once my hair's in the ponytail i'm going to go over it again with my brush just to make sure it's really smooth this brush is such a game changer with slick back buns you need a little bit more oil and i'm going to put this on the front of my hair this gives it such a lovely shine and also just again just really slicks it back and I'm going to take another hairband excuse the back of my neck if I've not fake tanned it properly oh no I feel like I can already see it I missed my back <laughs> so just ignore that um, but what I do is I'll twist it quite tightly like this and then I'll just wrap it trying to keep it like really tight around the back of the pony and then pop the hairband over it like that. Then you're left with something that looks like this. Hopefully 
your neck doesn't look like the back of mine. And yeah, that is how I do my slick back mum bun. My two essential products that I use, Foxy Locks oil, Foxy Locks paddle brush. We'll leave them linked down below. A code which is Foxy Gemma M, and that will get you 10% off everything, even the clip-in hair extensions. A yeah, link for Foxy Locks will be left down below. And let's let's head out to B and M. We have entered my favourite aisle of B&M. Well, the cleaning aisle and like the chocolate sweets aisle is my favourite, but I do love a B&M cleaning aisle brows. These are going straight in my trolley. I love the Zoflora wipes. I really want to get the winter spice, but it's spring. We're going to get the lemon zing. It's time to stop thinking about Christmas for a little bit. <laughs> How nice these little laundry hampers they've got a bamboo one and then a white bamboo one i think they're so nice they look really nice in the bathroom i like the little rope detail and then they also have these little storage jars and these spray bottles which would be really nice to fill full of zoflora and then we've got a selection of like washing bits utility housekeeping little baskets how nice are these blue clay cushions? They've got white ones. I love this taupe colour. They are two for £12 or £8 each. I think they're so nice. They would be so nice as bed cushions. They've also got navy and khaki. They also have so many nice duvet sets. I've just seen this one in this like neutral colour, which I think is so nice. It's like all textured. And then they've got loads of nice white ones as well. Oh, they've got it in white. I love a white bedding set. They've got a waffle one, loads of really lovely. Oh, they've got it in gray and in pink. Love this so much. I might get one of these. Should I get nude or white? I feel like white would be more wearable, like that'll go with the bedroom more. Oh my goodness, this aisle is beautiful. I don't even know where to start. You know, when there's just so much, you feel really overwhelmed. <gasps> I love that vase. That is so nice. Definitely gonna have to get that. for the nursery there's like a neutral colored rainbow here we've got one similar to this hanging off of Noah's bookshelves but I fell in love with this lion how cute four pounds I think that's so nice these candles would be really nice in the bathroom they've got three different ones so they've got restore which is sandalwood cedar and cardamom then they've got the unwind they've got big and little ones which is ylang ylang i don't know how to say that rose and patchouli and then this one here which is escape which is mandarin lemon and pink grapefruit i think they're so nice bedroom or bathroom vibes the little ones are two pounds fifty and the big ones are four pounds how amazing they've also got wax melts in the same sense and then little incense sticks as well What's the mug selection like today? Hopefully it's not good because I really don't need any more mugs. What have we got? We've got these big soup bowls. Love these. Heat me. Tasty. They're cute. I've got one of these ones and it's so good. I absolutely love it. What else have we got? I've already got this one. One of my favourite mugs. A really good size for coffee in the morning. Then we've got some initial ones. These little glass ones as well. Oh no, I've spotted some that I really like. How nice are these? They're really big as well. Oh no, I can't get any more mugs. Our mug cupboard is so full. These are £3.50 each. There's a black one and a neutral one. Oh, I really love them. This little bathroom. 
bathroom section here is really nice. They've got these little neutral and bamboo soap dispensers. Then the little toothbrush holder, which is really nice. A wooden soap dish, bathroom tray, which would be really nice for perfumes or like bathroom products. Then we've got another little, another little storage tray down here. Let me get it out. Really like that. I love this like natural stone texture. Got some more soap dispensers, some little storage bits, the matching toilet brush to these bits up here. And I also spotted this really nice black bath tray. You don't often see these and I think that looks so nice. These little dispensers are good for the bathroom as well. You could pop like shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, all of those bits in these. And then they'd all look really nice in the shower because they'd all be matching. I've spotted a few really nice lamps. How nice is this rattan one? Love that as a little table lamp. And then also this one here, so nice, 20 pounds. And this one is 12. super cute easter bears i finally found these little baskets which i've been seeing everywhere so they've got the pink ones and just found a green one for now which i thought was so cute little carrot plates little chick plates oh egg cups these are so cute loads of bits to decorate if you decorate for easter i feel like i kind of want to decorate for easter because there's just so many bits these little jars these would be really nice to fill with little um you know like different colored wrapped eggs it's a little easter gift these bowls so cute i might get one of those paint your own bunnies i also saw as well where's it gone oh here dino decorations how cute is that there's little easter activity books bunny paper plates if you're having a little easter tea party bunny cups paper straws they've got so many nice bits little tablecloths bonnet kits you guys know how i feel about an easter bonnet these so many cute easter bits how cute are these easter napkins i love them oh i want to have an easter tea party now this has unlocked a childhood memory for me did any of you guys used to have the little um china dolls and they all go inside of each other there's a bunny version paint your own bunny family how cute is that of course we've got to take a little trip down a new aisle that i come down toys this is actually one of my new favourite bits, getting Noah a new little toy. He has this little mobile phone which he absolutely loves and also a ball. I'm not sure if they have it but it's called like My First Ball um, and he loves that. Oh, actually there's one of these. I got one of these from Amazon and it's like one of his favourite things but they've got them in B&M. One of these brings back childhood memories. Might have to get it. <laughs> Oh, these little bath toys are cute. Love a bath toy. They like float on the water. Might have to get the Nemo one, that's so cute. They've also got little shark ones. Sing and swim bath toy. Love those. This is something I'm very excited about. I cannot wait for Noah to be at Play-Doh age. <laughs> so cute. They've got all these little stencils. Love a bit of Play-Doh. How exciting. Oh, what's this? little play-doh cocktail oh dear i did a thing went in for one thing <laughs> came out with an absolute trolley full hi teddy <laughs> you up in your lair <laughs> makes me laugh so much when i can just see this big gray head <laughs> hanging over the door as i come into the kitchen so I'm home from B&M and M&S. I got a few bits from M&S, so I'll show you guys what I got in a moment. Um, as you would have seen, B&M was so good. And I did that thing where I went in for a browse and I went in with the intention to only get some Zoflora wipes. 
and I came out with a trolley full of stuff. Like, how does that happen in B&M? There was just so many nice things. I'm gonna film this week a big, old school B&M haul, and that will be my next video. So yeah, very much looking forward to sharing with you what I picked up. A quick little haul of some of the bits I got from M&S. I got this roast meal deal which i thought was so good so it's 15 pounds you get one main four sides and a dessert which is i thought was amazing so i picked up chicken for the main then for the sides i got these roast potatoes which are so nice i got some cauliflower cheese this green vegetable medley and yorkshire's then I picked up an onion gravy as well. This is like a lazy roast dinner that I thought we could have this week. And then for pudding, of course, I got a sticky toffee pudding. So yummy. So yeah, very much looking forward to having this this week. Then I got a pasta meal deal as well. So I think this was six pounds and you get to pick a pasta sauce and then a side. So I got fresh tagliatelle. Then I got the tomato and mascarpone pasta sauce and I was thinking I could maybe do like a chicken breast with this. And then the olive oil and garlic flatbread. Oh, I love this so much. And another little quick dinner I thought we could have this week is sausage and mash. And caramelised onion sausages, mashed potato and then some onion gravy and we'll probably have some like broccoli or something with this. But yeah, thought that was another really easy little dinner. And a few other bits I picked up was, I got these for mine and Megan's little platter. Got these popcorn chicken bites. Then I got these Italian pesto mozzarella balls. I love these. A Mexican style fiesta dip. I got two of these because I thought one of these would be really nice for our nacho night. And then the other one I can keep for like crisps and dip. I'm gonna do some like carrot sticks, cucumber sticks, stuff like that. And I got two of these rices because I have these every day um, for lunch. So my lunch at the moment is rice, tuna, avocado and then lots of lime juice and coriander it's such a nice healthy little lunch so i got the lime and coriander rice and also the coconut chili and lemongrass rice and um, mozzarella because i'm going to be making a little mozzarella tomato salad to go with our snack platter some cheese fanta zero because i am obsessed at the moment and then, I love these, and again, just nice to keep it as an easy little lunch. So yeah, that is everything I picked up from M&S. Oh, it's my big baby. My big baby's come to say hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> ah, there's no need to bunny kick Teddy. on the lemon drizzle cookies i was gonna use my super chunky nyc style cookie recipe because i love those and they always turn out so nice but i'm thinking for like a lemon drizzle vibe cookie i want them to be like light and fluffy and soft instead of like big and chunky and chocolatey i was also going to add white chocolate chunks as well but i don't know i've just been thinking about it and i think i might keep them simple um and just have them lemony and like light for spring spring makes me think of like light fruity fresh I actually can't think today. Do any of you guys get this? So whenever I'm due on my period, I have a few days where I just get brain fog and it like comes in waves. I'll be like mid sentence. And I, I just can't, it, like my brain just does not work. Like it's so, brain fog is such a great like description, is it? Cause it actually feels like there is just a hell of a lot of fog in my head. 
Um, I've done this so many times today. I've like been thinking about something and then it's like poof, it's gone or like in the middle of speaking and it's just gone. Um, so please bear with me today. I've got a bit of the old brain fog going on. Some lovely pre-period pre symptoms. I find the week before my period is worse than my actual period. Like I don't mind being on my period. I actually quite enjoy it. TMI, but I feel cleansed. <laughs> like when I'm actually having my period, I'm like, I feel good. Um, but the week before I just feel groggy. I feel groggy, brain foggy, that rhymes. I feel cranky. I feel, not me desperately trying to think of a word that rhymes with cranky. I just, I just feel, ugh, for like the whole week before my period and today is the brain fog day. Um, anyway, enough of that chat. I digress. <laughs> Back to the cookies. I'm gonna film a recipe reel, as always, which I'm gonna post on my Instagram probably before this video goes live. So if you want the recipe and kind of like the method, all of the details, I will leave my recipe reel linked down below. But let's, I'm gonna pop on, I'm gonna pop something on TV whilst I bake because the TV is right opposite my baking station. I think, oh no, I've just remembered. I've watched all the episodes of the new Married at First Sight Australia. I was gonna say I'm gonna catch up, but I've watched them all. Love Island, let's know more Love Island is there. What am I gonna watch? Anyway, let's get baking. Hello, I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly Lemon drizzle cookies are all ready Well actually we'll call these the miniature lemon drizzle cookies because look how teeny they are compared to my hand I didn't mean for them to actually be mini, but because the mixture's slightly different, so with the big NYC cookies that I usually make, they spread quite a lot because they've got like different ingredients in, whereas these stayed sort of the size of the dough ball that I made. How mini they are, I think they look so sweet. And yeah, I'm very excited to do a taste test. I've got the taste tester himself coming. Give us an honest review of the miniature Lemon drizzle cookies, they smell amazing, smell very zesty. Here he comes. Hi. Hi, honest reviews, here we go. I'll tell you my first impressions, right? I was gonna ask the first impressions. Visual, what's hey, look, the... Well, first thing to hit you is the smell. Lemony. Zesty, yeah. Zesty. That's what I was going for. What do you think of the visual? I think they look really nice. Oh, good. Yeah. Be honest. That's going to be tangy. That is going to be tangy. Yeah. Do you know what's funny? When I put the actual lemon zest on the cookies, I thought, Jamie is not going to like the lemon zest. I need to dip a little bit the ice in by mistake. I oh, like. <laughs> the sleeves are coming up. We must mean business. <laughs> Don't go without me. Are we doing it together? Yeah. Oh, I could take a little bit of the pressure away. I haven't tried it yet either. I had a little bit of like dishcloth. I had a bit of dishcloth on it. I don't know it. what it wants. I'll give you guys a little close up. Don't you dare eat that without Come me. On. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. SG. Mmm. Very zesty. Mmm. 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 Fresh. Mmm. I'm really glad you like them. They're actually so nice. Mmm. 
I wanted them to be like soft and light Biscuity. and fluffy. Yeah, kind yeah, of shortbready, aren't they? A little bit. Mm. Oh, you know what? As well, lemon's not my favourite flavour. Like I, I don't really like love lemon flavoured things. But these are so nice. They're really nice. The inside. I like the base. I like the base, 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 base. <laughs> I like the buttery biscuit base. Out of ten. Remember past cookies? Remember those big, like, chunky New York style? Yeah, I'm gonna chip? give them, like, they've got to be like an eight or a nine. These are an eight or a nine? Mm. Above or below the big, chunky chocolate ones? I don't remember these. <sighs> You're not a very good taste tester if you can't Sorry. remember past bakes. Sorry. So eight or nine, that's good. I'd say seven. I really like them, but they're not as nice as the chocolate chip ones. So thank you, Taste Tester, for yet I, again I like another them. honest review. Good evening. Many, many hours have passed since we last saw each other. Um, Noah just did not want to go to bed tonight. He's usually so good at like going to sleep. Usually he's asleep every night in between sort of like quarter past six, quarter to seven, like he's just so ready for bed. And tonight he was so tired, but he just didn't want to go. Um, I've been in and out of his nursery, probably I'd say about eight times in the past two hours. And it's now eight o'clock. Um, so it's a very late one, but yeah, he just didn't want to go off to sleep. I have just poured myself my new favorite drink. I mean, I'm acting like it's something really out there. It's not, it's Fanta Zero with a whole lime squeezed into it and lots of ice. I mean, my ice is melted now. New favorite drink, it's so nice. Anyway, nacho night. Do I know a na nacho joke? Yes, I do. What do you call a cheese that isn't yours? I've kind of given it away here, haven't I? Anyway, leave your, leave your joke guesses down below and I'll tell you the riddle. What am I saying? The brain fog is back. What do you call a cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. How did we even get onto cheese jokes? Anyway, another one of my favorite cheese jokes is, how do you get a bear out of the woods? Come on bear. I love that one. There's a really good, there's another one. Oh, what is it? What did the cheese say when he looked in the mirror? Hello me. Nachos, this is a bit of a cheating nachos, but they're delicious. So, I am going to be using some tortilla chips. I have to be very quiet with these because if no one wakes up again, no nacho night for us. So, that packet just needs to like, shh, there's a baby sleeping. So, I'm going to do layers. I'm going to get a dish, layer of nachos, layer of salsa, Layer of cheese, I'm gonna use a cheddar and mozzarella mix. Then I'm gonna do a layer of peri peri chicken. I would usually cook like a fajita chicken um, and use that, but that actually like adds so much time on that, adds like an extra like 20 minutes or so. So I bought these already cooked chicken from M&S and I just thought these would be great for a quick and easy nacho night. We're gonna layer the chips, salsa, cheese, chicken. And then another layer. I might do three layers of that so we've got like a lot. Because no one likes a dry nacho, right? So we're going to do that. Put it in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes till all the cheese is melted. Then once it's out the oven, we're going to have sour cream, coriander, and our Tex-Mex dip. So we'll have this on the side. I would usually make a load of homemade guac but again like i said it's like 10 past eight now so this is just going to be a really nice quick dinner and we've got some guac in there so we don't really need homemade guacamole today so yeah let's get cooking our nachos we did one more cheese joke for luck i'm out of cheese jokes so i'll have to find one on google oh my god there's some really cute ones okay let's do a few. First one why is christmas the cheesiest holiday because of baby Jesus. Why does that one make me feel sad? Because it's so cute. I'm doing that thing again where something's cute. I just feel sadness. 
why do I look like I'm gonna cry? I think it's because it had the word Christmas in it and you guys know how I feel about Christmas. <laughs> this one's really good. Did you hear the cheesy weather forecast? Rain with light breeze. <laughs> this one is so good. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna keep these for Christmas and I might make my own Christmas crackers just cheese jokes, strictly just cheese jokes, because they are the best. When should you keep an eye on your cheese? When it's up to no gouda. <laughs> just realized I forgot the main ingredient, the thing I was most excited about. So between the layers, so when we've done the chips, the salsa, the cheese, and the chicken, we're gonna add cheese sauce. This is what makes the nachos. I cannot believe I nearly forgot this. I would have been heartbroken if I had made these and forgotten to put this on. I find whenever we go somewhere to eat, we always get nachos as a starter and as we're, we're now nacho connoisseurs, we've realized when we go for something to eat, if the nachos come out with the warm cheese sauce, they're so delicious. Whereas if they come out without, they're always a little bit dry. So yeah, we're gonna add, I bought this one. Where did I get this from? I think I got this on our last Ocado order, um, but it's the Verga Co Cheesy Vegan Sauce. Should we do a little taste test? Shall I try some? Tilly's looking at me like, are you gonna turn this tap on for me or what? She's just staring at it like, um, human, turn my tap on. Is it a bit gross for me to try a bit of this out of the jar? Would you guys judge me? Wow. <laughs> oh my God. That smells so strong to the point. It's making me feel, I don't know if I like it. What on earth? Mm. I don't know if I wanna try it now. It's taking my breath away. I've never smelt something as cheesy in my whole life. What's it made out of? Let's try it. I'll do it for you guys. It's so strong. Okay, I was being over dramatic. It's actually quite nice. It's very cheesy. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be that cheesy, but I think. I'm really glad I tried that first because I was gonna absolutely drown the nachos in the sauce. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing that. I think I'll just add a little bit of it because like I said, it's so cheesy. That must be made out of Gouda. Oh no, it's vegan. It's not Gouda, is it? So what's it made out of? I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things in there, but cheese is not one of them, but it, it's incredibly cheesy. So if you are vegan and you're looking for something like really cheesy, would recommend. <laughs> so excited I was picking at things whilst I was making them which is always a bit of a rookie error because then you ruin your appetite um, but something I was gonna ask you guys this is so random by the way but if any of you guys are cats moms or dads basically <laughs> Tilly and Teddy have just started like acting crazy at night so We've never ever had this problem before and it, I mean it's not really even a problem, it's just, it's really strange. So I'd probably say the past month, every single morning at like in between half past three and four, Teddy will, it's quite funny but it's not quite funny when it's 4am and like Noah's sleeping the whole night through and you're finally getting a night's sleep but Teddy is the one waking you up. 
So, half three, four a.m. he does this thing where he'll run up the stairs like lightning, it'll go and it sounds like an actual elephant is running up the stairs. It's so loud. And he'll like barge the bedroom door open if he's not already laying, usually lays above me. So if he's not laying there, he'll barge his way into the room and he'll like scale up the rug. And by what I what I mean by scale is our rug that's under our bed. He'll get on his back with the rug over the top of him and he'll get his claws in the rug and go and like scale up it and like whiz across the floor and it's so loud and if Jamie and I like I like don't really give him any attention and we just try and ignore him he'll then like just sit there going wow wow and it's so loud and I'm so scared it's gonna wake Noah up so what I've been doing is getting up at 4am with Teddy coming downstairs giving him a milky because he has one of these every single morning he has ever since he was a baby like <laughs> He has one of these. He used to be able to get them from Pets at Home. You can only get them from Amazon now. And oh, he's heard them now. I'm going to have to give him one. But he has one of these every single morning. So I don't know whether it's because I made the mistake of coming down with him with one of these to get him into the kitchen that now he thinks like 4 a.m. is milky time. But it's become a bit of a problem because it gets earlier and earlier. Last night it was at 2 a.m. The night before that it was at midnight. And I'm so scared that it's going to wake Noah up. I'm so scared it's gonna wake Noah up I am um, like I said I bring him down and then keep him in the kitchen for the rest of the night which I don't like doing like I like Tilly and Teddy to be able to have the run of the house I like them to be able to come into the bedroom and like get on the end of the bed and like get on my pillow like I love that it makes me feel so cozy and Tilly and Teddy as you guys know are my babies but this 4am thing's got to stop and I was reading about it and apparently when the clocks go is it back or forward spring forward fall back that's how I always remember spring forward and then fall autumn back so because the clocks go forward soon apparently cats just like can act up at this time of year or also it's mating season May no March and April are mating season so they can go a little bit crazy but yeah it's just 4am is like playtime at the moment and both of them are like running up and down the stairs jumping on the banister they'll jump on top of doors from the floor and like swing on the top of doors it's pure chaos anyway i just wanted to know if any of you guys are cat owners if you've experienced the same or tilly and teddy are just turning into devil cats <laughs> Nachos are served. We've got our little dips over here. Oh, so nice. Jamie just said, oh, wow. Absolutely delicious. Don't they? We love nachos, yeah. don't we? As you're the taste tester, yeah. I'd like you to taste a little bit of that cheese sauce and let me know your verdict. Oh. I've already tasted Where's it. it from? Um, it was from Mikado. Okay. Let us know your honest review. Honest all reviews, always. I was a bit taken aback by it. It's barbecue. Barbecue? It's like barbecue. -y. It's weird, isn't it? I thought it was really cheesy. Like when I opened like it, <laughs> I couldn't believe how cheesy it was. What's your rating out of ten? Two. <laughs> we have just finished dinner. We're just about to get ready for bed and get an early-ish. I say early. It's like half nine, so an early-ish night. Um, the nachos were so nice. One of my favourite quick and easy dinners. The cheese sauce was actually really nice when it was in the nachos on its own. Not so good. But when it was like with the salsa and the chips and the chicken, it was actually really yummy. Um, but I think we're going to try a different one next time we do it. Don't think I'll be repurchasing that one. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for spending the day with me. We are, like I said, just about to get ready for bed and we have got the last episode of you to watch tonight the new season have you guys been watching what are your thoughts um i always really want to talk about series in depth but then i don't want to ruin it for anyone so i'm trying to think of what i can say about it without like completely giving it away um okay so i feel like it was different 
to the usual you seasons and probably like the first six episodes I was a little bit like hmm this was not what I was expecting and I wasn't sure whether I liked it and then boom the last like four episodes were really good um and yeah was a little bit of a surprise and I won't I won't say any more but I really enjoyed it. and if you haven't seen you on Netflix I'm sure all of you guys have um and you like thrillers then would highly recommend actually as well we watched a brilliant film the other night like one of the best films I've seen in years if you guys like thrillers um you need to watch the new Luther film on Netflix just type in Luther and it will come up it's been like number one in the Netflix charts for a while now and it was brilliant and we've not actually seen any of the Luther episodes like this season so don't worry about that but it was oh, such a good film but yeah thank you all so much for spending time with me today hope you all have a lovely weekend a lovely week and i will catch up with you all next sunday bye bye <laughs>